Now it's time to press buttons and talk with Maggie and Rosie D. This gimmick is quite a stretch of the imagination. Yeah, like, I always make fun of Apollo's. You can start the timer. Oh, yeah. I always make fun of Apollo's gotcha, but like this is like absurd. <laughs> like a perfect recreation. Okay. Yeah. Now then, I believe I'm ready to investigate the crime scene. Okay, what should I recreate first? You haven't figured it out yet? Heh. <laughs> maybe I have and maybe I haven't. But I'm going to make you do all the hard work. Very well, a recurring theme of this game. I'd like to inspect the moment in which I was ambushed by my abductor. The two of them were definitely in this place at that time. If I can verify that, it may provide me with a new lead. I had just come out into the hallway after leaving the money inside the dining room. At that time, I saw a badger slumped over on the floor at the end of the hall. Eh? What was the badger doing all the way down there? I also thought it's. I also thought it strange. However, I thought that maybe it was simply a mannequin that was set there for atmosphere. Do you know which badger it was? No, it was too dark to tell. All I saw was was its silhouette. Hmm. In that case, I guess I'll just program a badger silhouette in for now. Modeling's really quick and easy. You just have to say just the word use badger. Use your imagination and say the word badger. Okay, programming complete. It's that easy. Programming is just like scribble knots. Just say whatever you want and it appears. Ah! There he is. Then I started walking towards the exit. And that's when you were struck from behind, right? Yes. But that's odd. The hallway is a dead end. Where did your assailant come from? There is only one location I can think of. I believe my assailant was lying in wait here. I guess in the dining uh, room? Possible? Where else could it be? There's nothing in the hallway besides the mannequin. So it's, is it like he walked away and then they came out of the room? Uh, unless like he was in the costume and they like got up and came to get him? I guess I'm confused. Have they, are they assuming that that badger is just nothing? I, I, yeah, I mean, we, well, this, we saw this, it happen, so yeah, it yeah, was the badger. This seems more logically yeah, 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 yeah. sound. I keep forgetting that they haven't established yeah. that there was a person in there. That doll I saw wasn't really a doll. It was, in fact, a costumed kidnapper. See, why would they even assume it was a doll when, like, co badger costumes have been a prominent feature? Because badger costumes don't matter. They, they, you can I, be wearing them or not. It's the guess. same thing. Oh, so he used the costume as the perfect camouflage to blend in with the rest of the house. Precisely. He waited until I had made the drop-off and was about to leave. Then, just as he saw me take a step towards the exit, he stood and launched his attack. I can think of no better hiding place than this. Hey, not bad. I'm beginning to think I should steal this tactic for myself. Just don't use it to do anything criminal, okay? I commit a lot of crime. I'm very upfront about that. I don't know why you hold oh, me I to hate, the Oh, I hate that it's walking. Yeah. Oh, it looks like an evil Guiji Teletubby. Coming. Oh, I don't like that. Oh, God. Well, Lance? What, what are you asking me for? As one of the kidnappers, I figured I should give you the chance to confess first. I was one of the kidnappers, but uh, I don't know anything. I did come up to the haunted house, but I never set foot inside. I left Oliver in charge of picking up the ransom money. He didn't set foot inside. Is he telling the truth, or is this another lie? Alright, then you're claiming that it was Mr. Deacon who assaulted me. Yes, I'm sure it was him. Okay, inputting the new info now. Mr. Deacon was the bad badger, right? Since the bad badger has a gun attached to its right hand, I'll have to change it so the weapon is in its left hand. And there you go. Now to verify the facts of this recreation. Begin investigation. And... Okay. Let's look at you. How did I forget about the, everything that happens in this entire... I did not remember they go to the haunted house in a simulation. Yeah, this gets weird. You didn't recreate the weapon. 
Well, I can't exactly recreate something I don't know nothing about. You don't know nothing about? I don't about. know nothing about it. So tell me, what were you hit- what were you hit with? The attack came from behind, so I have no idea. But I doubt it was someone's bare hands. Um... Okay, then where- where were you hit? I was hit on the right side of my head, just above my temple. There was a bit of blood, but it wasn't anything serious. Could have backhanded it. Ouch! Sounds painful. Why are you smirking like that <laughs> when you say it? It's just your imagination. Now, let's see. I wonder if there's anything in the hallway that could have been used as a weapon. No way! There's nothing- I'm looking for something the culp- in this- Oh. Uh, the sword? Yeah. Okay. Broken prop sword. Sure. I love how they had the blueprints, right? Right. There's no way <laughs> no, the, the sword would be the simulation. The blueprints mentioned the, blueprints the have sword. have the sword there. I have it. There was indeed one such object lying here in this hallway. It's built into the foundation of the floor. A prop sword. Are you talking about this thing here? Yes, although we did find it at the kidnapper's hideout. Weird how the simulator just knew the- Wait. Yes, it's possible that the culprit took it with him after using it on me. To leave no evidence behind, right? Correct. It may be worth a more thorough examination yet. Okay, so what test do you want to run on the sword? Uh, Luminol? Luminol, yeah. Yeah, because it, it wouldn't, wouldn't have, have prints, prints on it. Because it's got gloveys. The culprit was wearing a costume at the time, so a fingerprint analysis is useless. Let's run a Luminol test. It's possible that some of my blood found its way onto this. Agent Lang, may I ask for your cooperation in this matter? <laughs> like I have a choice. Sheena, call the lab boys. Oh, the Labrador lab boys. Labrador boys, understood. Come here, Labrador. <laughs> they make us wear Labrador outfits. Come here, Labrador boys. Except for a dab on the left side, it would appear that the blade is spotless. So it must have been the left side of the prop sword that hit you then, right? Mmm, It was left, right? Okay, I'll update the recreation with this new piece of info. Yeah, let's write some for loops. Push a button. Oh, I hate that. It's even okay. deadlier. I won't rest until I've inspected every suspicious looking nook and cranny. What are you? Okay, it's the. This is a weird thing to inspect. So it's. I think. I think we're ready to deduce now. You know, the Bad Badger is pretty bad looking when you see him up close. Well, what did you expect from a character named the Bad Badger? And those sunglasses, wearing them in the dark makes him seem extra bad. Now I'm lost. Which meaning of bad does she really mean? Okay. I don't know, like Breaking Bad? So, we'll look at our organizer really quick, but uh, I'm pretty sure they just gave us what we need. Um, since it was the left hand, yeah, there's I no way he, um, he could hit the right temple. Uh from that angle. Uh, yeah, the way it is now, it would be... Oh, I need to go to... Deduce. Deduke. Is this spot somehow connected to any of the evidence that I hold? How about this broken prop sword? Eureka! Finally, I have found a clear contradiction of facts about this sword. Sorry, did you just say Eureka? Why have we already been over this? I do it all the time. Except for a bit on the left side, this prop sword is absolutely spotless. This weird grown man like you. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> However, wait, who's, who's talking? That's, uh, what's her name? Lauren, Lauren Pop. <laughs> grown man like it's just you. just a, a grown ass man You're like sucking you. on a ring pop. It's good. However, if the, oh, it's good. If the culprit had used his left hand, the blood would be on the opposite side. You want a lick? No. <laughs> the opposite side? Huh? If the culprit held the sword in his left hand, then the sword's right side would hit. What? I see. But the blood was on the left side of the sword, right? Which Maybe means he did like a whirly spin. He could have backhanded you. Which means that he used his right hand to hit you. Exactly. This prop sword has a large handguard at attached to the hilt. It would be impossible to hold it with two hands while wearing a costume with such big hands. Therefore, if it couldn't be the left hand, or both hands, it must have been the right. I'll change the data to reflect a right-handed swing. Not yet, Kay. There's no sense in changing anything yet. But it's... If you change the parameters to the right hand, it'd only create a new contradiction. It could not be uh, there's the a blue hole badger. Uh, where's the gun? Ah. Well, not Is this, this. the miss? Wait. 
This is the normal revolver. Yeah, not this either. Okay. Uh, I think it, it's the costume, well, well, victim's costume. A victim's costume. Mm, maybe this or... I think it would be this because this is the gun. But this is this isn't the gun that was ripped from the hand. Uh, Basically, the, the or the because this shows him with that he the has. Gun. I think it's probably this. I uh, think because the contradiction is that he should have he has a gun in his hand. Yeah, I feel like they just choose the actual picture of the. Uh, I don't know. We'll see if this take is, that. Okay, yes, good. the bad badger already holds a gun in his right hand, so he can't hold the sword. In addition. Hey, that's right. Then what now? If it wasn't in his left hand or his right hand... It means that the one who struck me could not have been the bad badger. It was the good badger. No. Are you paying attention, Lance? Ugh. Now, it's interesting, like, because we know it's not the bad badger. Yeah. Because they show us. Oh, yeah, because we saw the we fucking... Saw we saw it that it was the proto It was burned badger. into our brain. It's very interesting, like, if they wanted to keep it a surprise, they should have done it from behind. Yeah. And should have had them... Been, but well, I guess but, they wanted us as a player to have this kind of, like, oh, but it's mm, not quite... I guess so. Not quite, Miles. But it, I, I get that it's a cool, scary moment, but I feel like for more, like, oh, shit, like, it could have been, I don't know. Mr. Deacon could not have been the one who struck me. Which leaves only you as our primary suspect. Uh, fine, it was me. I hit you. It appears that you lied to me yet again. But see how quickly they catch up to you, Lance. Wait, isn't Lance left-handed? Ah, yes, but that's what makes this deception all the more interesting. He used his right hand to make it look like Mr. Deacon had been the one to strike me. But that is a lot of forethought. For you see, firing a gun with one's non-dominant hand is difficult. But that level of dexterity isn't required to swing a prop sword. Ugh! Yeah, well, I guess he did it, but based on that reaction. Okay, please input this new data. The one who hit me from behind was Lance. Or should I say, the proto-badger. That's gonna be really creepy, but let's see what I really like. want to do it. You got it. Here I go. Proficiency. If uh, I is less than three, then and change now it back, change it back, change it back, change it back, okay, change it back. Okay, we're, we're not keeping this. Now we have a faithful recreation of the situation around the attack on me. All right. All we have to do is examine this new recreation and not so fast. <laughs> What's funny? And what exactly is so funny, Agent Lang? Thought of a great joke. That amusing little gadget. It sure packs a punch, right, Sheena? Yes, it was all I could do to hold my laughter in. Hey, don't make fun of little thief, you mean old werewolf. Uh, sorry, you're not a werewolf. You weird wolf wannabe guy. He and Mr. Edgeworth bring out the best in each other. I'm just called a furry. You've had your little fun, but now it's my turn. I've sat quietly by, listening, watching this fucking weird computer simulation appear around me. But the crude conclusions you two keep spewing don't whet this wolf's appetite. I'm gonna bore you. I'm gonna He's, oh, he's gonna bore please. you, Mr. Edgeworth. Don't do that. There's no guarantee that your toy will always show the real situation. Listen, I'm right here yeah, at any given time. This is pretty, this should have been pointed out immediately. By All most it displays characters. is whatever information you put in there, right? I'm pretty much making this up, actually. Well, when you put it that way... Fuck. Your suppositions are wrong. It's not your fault, so I'm going to let you in on but this. But look, there's a drawing on the wall that says Lance did it. There is a trick to this haunted house. And what may that be, exactly? A trick beyond what your tiny imaginations can produce. Sheena! Here you are. Are you on a kind of veyer belt or something? No, now no, no, no. then, what you missed, girly? I just walk very quickly. Is written right here in this pamphlet. It's just my feet, just kind of skip, 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 skip. skip. <sighs> Sorry, I was thirsty. The seven wonders of the haunted house. The disappearing badger? W what is this? The Seven Wonders of the Haunted House. The Disappearing Badger? Oh. I'd say that someone around here is fond of theatrics. And as you can see, they set a doll down at the end of this hallway for that purpose. Basically, the blue badger you saw was just a stupid doll. Oh. Too bad we didn't read the whole pamphlet. How can this be? 
Guess that throws your whole theory about it being your attacker right out the window. Cracker! But, but that can't be right. Maybe the culprit hid the doll somewhere. And then he laid down and pretended to be it instead. Not so fast! If the criminal couldn't even hide himself in the hallway, how could he hide a giant doll? That's uncalled for. I think we're having a reasonably paced conversation. Hmm. Do you get it now? Thanks to your presumptions. Your logic started off weak and led you to the completely wrong conclusion. Sure. Now get off your high horse. Mr. Edgeworth. Okay, I wonder if you could please input the new information for me. Huh? You don't know when to quit, do you? I can't quit. Not until I can declare that I found the truth. Maybe we'll find the truth next time. I hope so. That'd be nice. That'd be nice, nice for once. Change of pace.